In this video, I started out with $0, a lawnmower, and a truck, and now I have the challenge of building a profitable landscaping business from scratch. But there's a twist. I only have a year to do it. Will I go broke, or will I make it big? Stay tuned to find out. And if you guys enjoy content like this and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and drop a like helps too. Anyway, let's go build a business. Well, boys, it's another day back out here on the landscaping business. We have, well, now $4,099. Okay, we had $5,000, uh, but now we don't. Anyway, Colton's washing the equipment. How's it going, Colton? What's oh, going good, man? You? Oh, not too bad. Can't complain, other than the fact that I only hit, I have $1 less now. We had 5000 before, now we don't. What the heck, man? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Better wash this. Anyway, last video, we asked you guys if we should keep the Duramax. We literally counted the comments. It was pretty close, but we're keeping the Duramax, so we got to go make some more money if we want to go buy some stuff before winter. Anyways, we got the sweet new mowing rig here. I think I'm going to take this out and go do a job or two. I think we got... What, what, what was the calls this morning? I think we got two separate jobs i think so yeah okay so i'm gonna go out do those quick and then colton's gonna run into town grab some parts and stuff and then i think we got a big job plan for later on today but uh yeah i'm gonna get to work this is what we call a mobile car wash boys <laughs> run colton run run i'm going i'm going <laughs> all right i'll see you in a bit oh we're just in town here across the river oh what is that i think that one's for sale i saw that up on facebook marketplace that's a whole equipment setup 25 grand which is an absolute steal of a deal you not this morning I was thinking about going to take a look at it maybe i will later today now well we don't have 25 grand eventually maybe if it doesn't sell here real quick maybe i'll be able to afford it all right so these are the two jobs we got this morning the house right here and the house behind us it'd be pretty quick jobs these don't tend to take long and they pay well frankly those are the best kinds of jobs all right we'll just get this thing unloaded here oh there goes colton he's off to the parts store we needed uh i think a new oil filter for the skid steer oh yet again my worst enemy flipping trash cans all right first yard's done like i said these are really fast jobs so it does not take long at all once you get going although with this customer this lawn that they have right here gets uh pretty big and they only ask me to come and mow it every two weeks which is a bit ridiculous when you think about it because the amount of rain and stuff we get along here yeah it's just gets way too tall and it takes a lot longer to mow but oh well job's still a job as long as i'm getting paid oh colton's calling me hello hey uh austin yeah what's up bud yeah we got a little bit of a problem uh-oh what happened so driving across the bridge yeah come up to the intersection uh -huh. car decides they don't want to stop Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding you got you get t-boned are you okay yep i know that intersection too and cars tend to not stop there oh my mm -hmm. goodness trucks totaled tow truck driver's already here hooking it up taking it away I i'm good but the truck's totaled ah son of a gun dude that was our work truck i know <sighs> man that one's not cheap either those those duramaxes there they're getting pretty expensive to replace especially those older ones they're in such high demand these truck boys want to just get them and mod them out and you can't find ones like that very cheap anymore I'm getting hard to find too ah son of a gun okay um i'll call insurance i'm just as long as you're good um shoot i'm just about done this job uh are you good for another like 15 minutes there because i'm like across the river right now mowing. oh yeah 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 take your time okay uh i will just finish up this job i will come and get you and i guess i'll call insurance and we'll get it taken care of okay sounds good Okay, I will see you in a few. Okay, later. Son of a gun. Trucks totaled off. Well, I'm just about finished here, so we'll just get loaded up, collect our pay, and we are out of here. All right, first try. Let's see if we can get it going on this trailer here. It's always a pain because the trailer's not quite wide enough. Gotta be really careful. And we got it. Perfect. Drop that down real quick. Hold up our ramps. And let's go get paid. All right, $750 in the bank from these two jobs here. Now, normally we come here with the bagger and bag all this grass up, but the clients have requested to leave it on there since it's close to the end of the year and uh, the mowed grass provides a lot of extra fertilizer for the uh, lawn itself. So always good to leave a little bit on there. But Colton just texted me, said the tow truck just left there. So we're about, I don't know, three minutes away from him. So we'll go grab him and get him back to the shop there. Luckily, he's okay. Holy smokes, there he is. Colton, you okay, buddy? Oh, yeah, I'm great. <laughs> You're great. Well, you just crashed a truck while someone crashed into you. Holy nah, smokes. Right. Well, as long as you're okay, that's that's the good part there. 
So uh, I, I'm I'm hoping insurance will give me a good chunk of change for that truck because of their uh, value right now. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I hope so. All right, boys. It is the next day here. Uh, we got in contact with insurance last night, and uh, they should be giving me a call here in about an hour or so to uh, tell us how much we're going to get for that truck. Fulton's okay. A little bit rattled up, but uh, he's back to work this morning. I told him he should take the day off, but no. Guy's still back at work. Just cleaning up the yard here. Doing a little bit of mowing. I ended up finding a replacement truck for the Duramax. So we're going to go take a look at that later today. But uh, if insurance gives us enough, which from how they're talking, they're going to give us a pretty good chunk of change. We may be able to uh, go look at some other equipment here and whatnot. Hey, Colton, don't put that thing into the river now. Oh, don't worry. I won't. Careful. Car might come out of nowhere and T-bone you. Never know. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Bad joke. Bad joke. Colton, your camper's a little bit heavy for the old mower here. Man, I think you got too much rice a in the fridge. Hey, hey, no. All right. Yard's looking a little more cleaned up. Colton's been at work. I've just been moving stuff around for him here, but uh, got a call from insurance. Told us where we're going to be getting paid, and it should hit our account any minute now. And holy smokes, that's a lot of cheddar, a lot of monies. Colton, any guesses on uh, the insurance we got for that truck? I'll say around 20 grand. 20 grand. Uh, Somewhere around there. Probably about 10,000 more than that. 30 grand for that truck. 30? Yeah, I guess they valued it because it had such low hey. kilometer or miles. It was just hey. like really crazy value i'm i mean we'll take it we'll take it we'll take it so we have an extra thirty thousand dollars to play around with right now and uh i think we're gonna go take a look at another truck and then possibly i think we're gonna have enough money left over to maybe go buy something else well, that'd be sweet all right we're just pulling up here and there is the truck colton what do you think i like it second gen dodge dually like I said, oh, we've been needing yeah. more dualies, and I think this might be the move. Now, uh, it's a little bit rusty, a little bit on the rustier side, and a little bit higher miles, but I think it'll do. I think this thing suits you perfectly. This thing's perfect. It's got a... Oh, wait. Dude, look at... The, did you see the dent in the side? Holy smokes. Oof. Oof. That's a little rough. A couple dents in the door. Yeah, this thing's definitely seen some better days, but and it does have a plow mount, which is nice. All right, may as well take it for a little bit of a ride here real quick. I don't worry. I'll try. I won't crash this one, I swear. Try not to. Oh, I mean, if you do, it's not the end of the world. It's already got a couple dents in it. True. Here it comes. What'd you think of it? Oh, easy now. This thing drives nice. Yeah, for how many uh, how many miles are oh, on it? Yeah. How kind of rough it is? That, oh, yeah. She'll be a good worker. That poor bumper has seen some better days, too. <laughs> All right. Well, the tires are good on it. Uh, It has a slow oil leak, but other than that, I think it'll do, hey? Yeah, it should be a solid work rig. All righty. Well, I'm going to go offer the guy... uh. Well, something. I don't know. Not the greatest truck. Not the prettiest thing to look at, but it will will do the job that we need it to. New work rig acquired. 6500 bucks. He wanted eight. I told him he was ridiculous for that, so I got it for sixty five, which is not a horrible deal, especially for a second gen. All right, Colton, follow me. We got one more stop on our spending money journey today. And what are you buying now? Oh, uh, shoot. I haven't told you yet. Okay, well, it's just right up the road here. Okay. And here we are. A tractor? Yep. Well, not just any tractor. The yard tractor. Okay. All right. So, normally these things are an arm and a leg when it comes to price, but the guy needs it gone ASAP here. He's moving. He's selling this place. This might actually be a cool place to buy. Hmm, who knows? Anyways, he wants it gone. The tractor alone is about, uh, hmm, I don't know, 14 grand. Then you got all the implements so all said and done uh maybe a bit more than 14 actually yeah i forgot there's this digger on the back so yeah that in itself is five grand so yeah we're looking at about 30 32 he wants 25 for it i think we can i think we can swing 25 i don't know what do you think colton i think we can do 25 yeah there's a lot of different attachments here which i think might help out with uh, a couple extra projects all right i'll see i'll try deal them down just a little bit Deal's done. Colton, what do you think I got it for? 27. 27? 22, five. Yeah, I said 20, I said 25 five. beforehand. That's what he wanted for it. I dealed him down a little bit. So 22, five. I think that's a pretty solid deal for something like this. I'd say that's a good deal with all the attachments. All right. Well, I guess we got a lot of loading to do, so let's get her done. Okay. We should be good on the road here for about like two minutes real quick while we load up some of this stuff. Hey, Colton, you just going to ride on the back seat here while I load up some stuff? Yep. I'm just going to chill back here. That seems comfy. All right. Sorry, guys. Sorry. We're, we're blocking traffic. We're just about done here. 
Hold on a minute. Ah, oh, crap. Colton, we got a problem. What? I don't know if we're going to fit it all on here. Maybe we can swing uh -oh. this over just a little bit. Hold on. <laughs> idea. Yes. Yeah, that, that'll fold it up. Oh, yeah. That'll be perfect. Yeah, that. there we okay, go. Okay. Hop back in the second gen. We'll get this back home. Okay. Yikes. The DOT would be loving us today. Okay, we may have also caused a little bit of a traffic jam. You've just gotten around. It just went through a red light. Holy smokes, I absolutely dusted Colton. He's way the heck back there. I can't even see the guy. I'm hauling a trailer too. You just got through the ditch, Colton. What are you doing, bro? I was just testing out the new worker. Oh my goodness. Hey, come on, man. You got to test the thing out. Ah, fair enough. Fair enough. Got to make sure it works. I'm pretty sure it works. Okay, so we're taking off a couple of these attachments so we can actually use this thing as a normal tractor. We got some projects coming up here that uh, we can now do. I mean, either way, we're going to have to buy some sort of a utility tractor at some point. The skid steer just can't do everything we need it to. And this was like the perfect deal. And it has a 72-inch deck on it. Colton, through the ditch? You must have a thing with ditches. Hey, it's fun. Well, yeah, but it's... It's going to break something sooner or later. Nah. All right. Well, this thing can't handle crazy <laughs> angles or bumps, but it can actually leave a very nice cut. But I think I'm going to let Colton handle the rest of this with the uh, with the skid steer mower there. Those angles are too much for this thing. I don't want to flip it over. Hey, Colton, check this out. If I can actually back it up right. Oh, nope. Wrong one. Nope. Still wrong one. That coming. I can't get it. There we go. Forgot. Finally got it. I can't say. Did you forget how to use a hitch or what? Yeah, sometimes. Man, this thing's slick. All right, check it out. Everything's organized, mode. Man, shop's looking good. We're only $40,000 in debt. The rest of it's just to pay off the land. And we got about $7,000 in the bank account here, so I cannot complain. Anyways, it's just about the end of the day here, so I think we're going to call it. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe. And goodbye. <laughs>